mosquitoes? Where do they even come from? Indeed, where do they come from? To learn this, let us go on a dive. Wait, I didn't mean that. A sponge, they are also called Porifera, meaning pore bearing in Latin. A fitting name saying how many pores it has. These Porifera are theorized to be the first class of invertebrates and so for every other invertebrates that they are their great, 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 wow, what is moved fast? What a pretty jellyfish. Look at the tentacles. They are also called nidarians, meaning sitting nettles and they evolve from sponges. They basically just developed their tissues and also started being symmetrical. Back to the ocean floor, here you can see some worms. But if you look closely, this one doesn't have rings on its body while these two do. That's because they belong to the different phyla. Let's go over them one by one. This one, the one with no rings, belongs to the platyminthus phylum and it is slightly more, than co more complex than a cinderian, but it's also the least complicated of the tree worms. Next, this worm has rings, but they don't mean that its body is segmented. It just has them. This belongs to the phylum nematoda, and if you compare the platyminthus with this, you can see that this has a slightly more complex body plan. But in the complex hierarchy of all these tree worm phyla, it ranks the second. Lastly, this worm is segmented and it's the most complex of the tree worms. This belongs to the phylum analida. But worm, you're supposed to tell us where mosquitoes come from. Oh, uh, you're actually interested? I thought I was just speaking to our viewers. Anyway, don't you want to know how octopuses belong to the mollusca and the starfish belong to the echinomimata? No! Now you're supposed to come and tell us about mosquitoes. Uh, uh, whatever you say. Sorry, dear viewer, but it seems we'll have to skip the arthropods now. Come now, already! Uh, uh. So, after the Lida came the arthropoda, with its insects, spiders, crabs, and centipedes. These arthropods have a symmetrical and segmented body and an exoskeleton. Arthropods are divided into four main groups, but the group to which mosquito belongs is the insect group. And that is where the mosquito came from. Such a long answer for such a simple question. Uh, anything. Learning is worth learning properly.